Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. It's awesome uh, to be with you and also make another video on the map making. Um, for those of you who haven't um, watched the channel before, welcome man. Um, please do consider to subscribe, I really appreciate that. You guys are always awesome man. and thanks for all the feedback and everything <laughs> and the comments and everything. I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, so um, this is video number 16, I believe, and um, today's video, we're going to look at um, vehicles, your default vehicles. In other words, when, you, when your map loads up, um, if you don't set up default vehicles, there will be no vehicles in it. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to um, get vehicles set up in your uh, default vehicles XML. Um, now, the easiest way to do it is have a version of your map available, like you see now currently we have uh, Welcome to Tiny, and the map is called Tiny for those of you who have joined for the first time, because it's a miniature map, it's not the, I didn't spend time making a big map, because the, the whole idea of this um, map making series is to go through the whole process of making a map from scratch right to the end where it's ready for, for uh, posting and sharing and everyone else to enjoy it or at least uh, it's the way that I've been doing things you know and please <laughs> feel free to to modify and change and uh, um, yeah my my way is not normally or necessarily the correct way you know so <laughs> it's just the way that works for me you know <laughs> but I'm sharing what I've learned through all the struggles and all the hassles of map making so whatever whatever I have learned I share and that's the whole idea of the series so here we are guys um, everything you see here starting up is all script in the um, uh, in the um, mod desk XML file so yeah you can use the scripts there in my mod desk to do the same on yours if you're interested in that type of startup stuff. Um, great. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is make a list of all the vehicles that you want uh, to be loaded into your map. Um, so what I what I normally do is obviously for this now is a tiny little form uh, with only five fields on the whole map. Um, for those of you who are the first time uh, joining. Um, it's just a standard form with all the animals and a, a few fields. So I'm not going to spend um, too much time because the process is all just repetition. So you do it once and you just follow the instructions and it is so simple and easy you won't believe it. So what we do is you go into your shop. Uh, first of all, you need some money. So let's just drop in a lot of money in here. Let's somehow put in... Uh, 10 million bucks or whatever I'm just putting a lot of zeros <laughs> it doesn't really matter and then we go into the shop and now we think what what is the list of vehicles that we'll need we'll need some tractors and then we'll need some trailers all right and then obviously a harvester and then um, a header or two depends on how you want to start the game um, and you must consider as well um, how you want the map to be started. Do you want it to start up with a lot of stuff or just the, the necessary? In this case, I'm going to go for only the necessary because um, obviously we, we don't want to spend the whole day putting vehicles in, in, into the map, you know. <laughs> we want to just do it as a tutorial because it's all going to be exactly the same thing, you know. And we want a van, obviously, for the farmer. And uh, what else can we go for? Maybe a water cart or a water um, trailer. And then maybe uh, a sewing machine. And maybe a uh, cultivator. And maybe a sprayer. So all your basic stuff. A sprayer and a sewing cultivator. And maybe a plow. Let's just do those. I think that's a good startup fleet to start with. And it being a small map, so let's start with small tractors. Um, um, another tip, guys, if you want to put mods into your map, um, it's going to be different uh, if you load mods, because uh, um, you're going to have to put the mod as a bundle into your zip file. So in other words, you're going to have to zip uh, zip it apart from the map 
but in its own, as you get the mod and then you load that via the default. So the process is going to be the same, but I'll show you on the in the XML, in the default vehicles XML, how to uh, just pull that mods in, you know, so so that it, it actually just puts it into the game. But anyways, let's get stuck in. All right, so tractors. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to be bothered here with mods because uh, um, I don't have any mods loaded in tractors. Um, so yes, let's go for the Ferguson. I love the Ferguson. So let's go for this one here. And you just buy it, right? Go okay, yes, okay. And back. And you can modify it exactly as you want it. Um, put the right tires on the whole shebang, you know, as you would have done it. Um, and then let's give it one medium tractor. And let's go for, let's make it a, just for fun, a messy, a messy build, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to go just for stock standard stuff. But you can obviously change all of this uh, with wheel weights or whatever. The way you want it set up, the engines, front loader attachment. I think, um, I think I'll leave that for now. But you can, you can add it obviously. I don't want to make the list of stuff too long. But yeah, let's just add it there just for fun. Let's buy it. And there you go. Right, all back. Um, so these two tractors then. All right. Um, trailers. Let's have a look at trailers. Trailers, trailers. The one I normally go for is this one here. The Agro Liner. Very nice. It's easy to reverse with. It's small. It takes uh, 21,000 liters. So that is perfect for a small map. So I'm just going to go with one of those. Okay. And then maybe a larger one for carting the stuff to the cell point. So let's give them two just to be safe. Okay. So there you've got your trailers done. Harvester is the next one. Um, go quick to harvesters. And let's go for a messy again. Uh, messy. Uh, messy for, yeah, let's go for the Activa. Activa is nice. Wheel set up, it comes with white tires, standard tires. Let's put some some mags on it. <laughs> Make it look nice. Uh, did I buy it now? I can't remember now. Mm. Did I buy it now? Yes, I did. Okay. For a second there, I got lost. <laughs> okay, good. So there's that. And then our headers. Uh, headers, you can decide. You want to start with one or two, doesn't matter. What, whichever ones you want, it is perfect. So the 25 FT is for the Massey, so let's go with that one. Uh, if the guy wants a corn header, then he'll have to just buy one, you know, get stuck in there. So let's go with just one header. And then uh, a farm van. Let's go for a farm van. So let me just go for the lizard, the cheapy. Let's buy that. Make it white as well, nice and plain. Uh, okay, so the van and then a water trailer for the animals. Animal water trailer. Uh, animal, animals. Where's the water trailers again? It's at animals. Uh, here we go. There it is. Some of this Joskin one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, sewing machine. Uh, that will be here by the cedars and, and that type of stuff. Uh, you've got your planters and your cedars. It will be a cedar. Nice, easy one to start with is this one. It also gets your um, 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 fertilizer with, which is nice. So, and it's nice. I think it is 3.6 meters. You can go for this one. It's four meters wide, but it uh, it doesn't get the the fertilizer with again. So yeah, just grab that one. Like I say, it doesn't matter. It's just to fill up. Fill up the list of stuff, which is important. Right, so sewing machine and then a cultivator. Blouse, disc arrows, cultivators. Now these doesn't really matter. You can grab one of these that puts the uh, fertilizer in as well, uh, which is fairly nice. Um, 3.7. Or you can just go for a stock standard one. Let's in this case go for a standard one. Right, so that's our... Cultivator and then obviously a sprayer. One last thing there. Let's look at the sprayers. Um, there is a sprayer that I normally like to just give at start of the game. Let's just find it. Crop protection. Here it is. This boy here, the Mega 2200. 
very nice one. Um, just buy that. That Massey, that media Massey should handle it very nicely. And then obviously, uh, just remember to put a weight because that is riding on the back. Um, so that's your sprayer. And then uh, the plow was the last one. Subsoilers, uh, plows. Here we go. Um, don't, so I'm going to go for this one here. Right, so now, uh, and then obviously, lastly, is a weight. Um, we want to go back there. And then weights, about 1600 should be fine for that. Um, stake this 1500. It's a messy, the gray goes nice with the messy, so that's fine. Great, so there you have it now, guys. So now we've bought all these vehicles. And you see they are all nicely stashed here all around the the yard um, where we've set up our our vehicle placement. Just want to have a quick look. Everything is here. Looks like it. Yeah, nice. All right. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to um, be quiet and I'm going to transport all these vehicles now to the farm. It's going to take a little bit, but we want them to be placed at the farm. And you need to put them exactly where we want, where you want them spawned at the start of the game. So that's the main thing is to have them at that coordinates, because the coordinates is what you're going to need to put into the, uh, or that's going to be inside the, the XML file, you know. So that's why it needs to be on the exact spot where they need to spawn. So yes, let me get stuck with that. And then once I've placed everyone, um, I will, I will show you but let me uh, let me do just for starters um, let me just do one so you can see how I do it I what I basically do is I don't drive everyone over there I just go like this and I go F11 we jump to field number one and then I appear here and then it I'm actually at the farm already so very nice and easy Right, so trailers. I will use that big shed for the um, for the harvester and things. Trailers. I think I'll put the trailers. We've got two trailers. Put the trailers down here. I basically just park them like so. All right. And now, unfortunately, I don't have a spawn point on that side. So I'm going to have to drive back. <laughs> Unless what I do, uh, I can actually, what I can actually do is um, just leave this here. On spot. I'm not going to do it perfect. But yeah, you want to, you want to have them as close as possible to... Um, or a, as exact as possible to where you want them spawned, you know, because they're going to spawn at the coordinates. So um, if you if you have it not in the wrong space, yeah. What happened now? Did I not? Did I not press? I thought I said the yeah, field one. There you go. And that's the that's the basic idea, guys. So now you bring all your vehicles and trailers and everything and park them exactly where you want them spawned. And then once I've done all of that, I'm going to be back and then we'll carry on with the, oopsie, we carry on with the, um, with the video. Okay, cool stuff. Let me just park this. Yo, for some reason I'm struggling to drive this tractor. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, I'll be back in a flash when I'm finished. Okay, great guys. So I've decided to uh, do one mod just to have a mod in as well. So you see the, the whole difference between the mod and the actual in-game stuff. So we're going to buy, uh, obviously the mod needs to be in your mod folder. So we buy it as usual and we just place it in the game. Um, go back, back and then also we want a tractor for it. So let's just grab another tractor. Doesn't really matter. Because we're going to sell the tractor again. It's just to get it at home. Okay, so what we do. We should just run to. Oh, no, I missed it. <laughs> right, there it is. So that one there. Uh, 
Oh my word, this this boy is self-propelled. Okay, so then we don't need to travel it. Okay, I didn't know it's self-propelled. I thought it's towable. It's interesting, it's got a little motor on it there. Listen to it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I've just put I've just chosen auger. You can obviously use any mod, you know, to pull it in. Alright, so let us quickly go to the garage and sell that tractor. So whatever you you don't want starting up, you can just get rid of, like in this case now. Um, oh, this is quite cool. <laughs> I didn't know it runs on its own. So let's get that at the farm and park it where you want it spawned. Um, where will I put this? Where will we use it? We won't really use it. So I'm just going to do it as a tutorial, you know, just for you, for your sake, um, how to set up these things. So here we go. I like this little thing. I never knew it's got uh, a little motor on its own. I'm used to the ones you tow with the tractor. So yeah, okay, anyways. And you can even... It even switches off when you jump out. <laughs> oh my word. There it starts up again. Okay, I've had enough fun now. Alright, so all you do now, guys, once you've set up all your equipment the way you want it and exactly where it needs to spawn, you just go ahead and do a save game, file, save game, and that's all you need to do in game. From here on, we're going to go outside and um, go out to the, to the map itself, quit. Right, so we finished with the game now. So all we do now is find your, your uh, in your My Documents, you'll find your My Games Farming Simulator 2019, where your mods folder is. Um, just make a note which save you used. I think I used three, so um, save game three. So just make a note on which save game you started, because you must know this has got all these slots for save games. So open that one and find the one that says vehicles, default vehicles.xml or vehicles.xml uh, it will be vehicles.xml here it is, copy that and let's go to our map directory and find I think the one in your map will be default vehicles there it is so I'm just going to paste it here for now I could have actually just opened it there where it is, but anyways that's just how it is you go click once somewhere in it, use control and A, select or control and C, copy it, and you open this one. You'll see this one, um, default, no, not the default items um, from above. Uh, we're looking at default vehicles. This one is empty. So what we do is we just, uh, let me just quickly have a look. It starts with vehicles. This one has got XML version. So in between vehicles um, is what you want to copy. So we're going to overwrite from there to here. Paste that in there. And there it is. All your vehicles nicely sorted out. Just make sure when you click there, your red line goes straight down to the bottom of all your vehicles. And you have the purple one showing there like that. If, if there's any problems in between, the red line will have a break in it. And you will have, I think the, this will be white or yellow or something else. But anyways, here we go. Now, you've got all your vehicles set up. And you'll see they are set up on, on the positions exactly where they are, exactly as they should be. But... Yeah, by form ID, there is something that we need to add in there. And I'm going to show you now. We finished with that one, so we don't need to save that. Uh, save file, no. This is the one we work with from now on. And then, obviously, I just want to open the default items and copy this, the default form property. This is very important to put in, guys. So you copy that, the whole one, default form property with the little true and everything in it. And you bring it over. Now, you click on your first vehicle. You'll see it's got the vehicle ID 1. And then you can see where it ends. There's ID 2. That's your next vehicle. And it will also give you a description here of what vehicle it is. MF5600 is the vehicle. So what we're going to do now is just before the farm ID, you're going to paste 
control V, paste that in, give it a little space, and that's it. And you have to do that with every vehicle, because if you don't do it, your, uh, your, your, your three game modes won't work correctly. So if, if you start with as a new farmer, or um, the, the first easy one that you always have, I think it's new farmer, um, the default farm property will be true, and you will have all the vehicles. And if you start with the other one, start from scratch, and the other, uh, the middle one, then um, obviously that vehicles won't be available. So if you don't do that, you'll always have the vehicles, <laughs> which is which will be a problem. All right, so you need to do that with every vehicle. Um, so before the farm ID, you just paste it in there and give it the space, and then click on the next vehicle just before farm ID. So I'm going to just do this. And I'll see you just now after that. Finish that. Great, guys. All right. So now I've done all of that. Um, I've added the default farm property to every vehicle. And our last one was that auger. Um, you see, it has got ID 14 in my case, and that's the auger name or the mod name. And then the file name, it's got the directory in the the modder, and it's got the name of the mod. Okay, and the XML obviously is inside that mod. So that you're going to leave exactly as it is. You don't have to change anything. Because um, it's not going to be in your map directory. It needs to be in the mod directory. So that is perfectly set up as it is. But now I've bound myself um, because now I need to add this mod together with my map. In other words, you don't put it in the map. You have two two different zip files. One is the map and one is the, the mod. So so that when, when this opens, the vehicle will be available for it to load. So that's just something that you have to bear in mind that if you put mods and stuff or anything that's not in the game, it has to, well, mods that is not in the game, you have to bundle it with your map, you know. Unless it's a mod that you have permission to use in your map and you can actually just extract it and build it into your map, then you don't have to worry about it this way. But this is a legal way of using any mod you want and because um, it's basically just loading it into the map when the map opens. You're not actually uh, uh, violating any builder's rights or whatever, you know. So yeah, that is an easy, safe way to do it. And then this line here now, is actually a line that you can use to to bring in any mod you want. Um, even even uh, in your in your default items, you can uh, bring this mod in, or any mod you want. So you just change the mod name here and the XML name of the mod inside the zip, and there you have it. Um, that is basically how you set up your vehicle. So what I'm going to do now is. Um, I'm going to save this now, and then I'm going to start the game with it, and let's have a look um, if it starts. We're going to do one game with the vehicles, and obviously one game without the vehicles, and see how it operates. Okay, excellent, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so here we are in the game. Let us quickly have a look. This is the one I've, I've used the, um, the XML from, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to start a new one. Are we going to start new farmer, of course, because we want to see if all the vehicles are there. Just going to do that and just go start and let's just have a look and see um, how it's panning out. Great, let's check, guys. Um, good stuff. There we are in the map. And then press tab for our first vehicle and voila. All sorted, man. Look at that. Beautifully set up. All the vehicles are there. You can see uh, there's all our plows and everything exactly as we parked it. So our XML is working and even the van should be there at the house. Let's just make sure of that. Yes, I've parked the van at the house and then also um, that auger. The auger is there. Perfect. And all working well. And that is basically how you do it. And now let us quickly just exit without saving. And I want to do another one quickly uh, without everything, you know. So let's just start a new game again. And let's go start from scratch. Because this one still gives you um, good funds, but no land, no buildings, and no equipment. 
capital is limited so it doesn't really matter which one you take here but let's just go for fun with uh, start from scratch this is the first time I check start from scratch guys so <laughs> prepare to prepare to be either amazed or disappointed so <laughs> let's hope and pray uh, it's uh, it's the amazing part of it that everything works all right so now we should have zero nulls nothing here on the farm not even vehicles or anything and it is exactly as it is as it should be look at it clean and empty no vehicles nothing no buildings not even well basically just to just the textures on the ground uh, where, where everything used to be obviously the windmill is part of part of this not part of the farm it's just part of the scenery so yeah great man everything going like a boeing that is awesome i'm so happy well guys that is the end of this video for now and i really hope it's been a little bit informative so for those of you guys who are interested in map making i hope it really helped a bit sorting out vehicles and especially the modded ones um, um yes something to consider guys and uh, yeah thanks for watching man and uh, let's carry on on the next video and we'll catch you then take care man cheers